the best beauty looks from couture autumn winter please subscribe to our channel from the bold to the naturally beautiful valentino the huge hair at Valentino came courtesy of Redken Global Creative Directors, Guido Palau and Josh Wood, who colored and styled 50 wigs over 150 hours. No big deal. The bombshell statement stole the show against a neutral palette of makeup. Valentino. In complete contrast, other models on the runway wore their hair slicked back, with exaggerated eyeliner wings in various jewel shades spearheading the look. Zuhair Murad. Ultra undone ponytails swept along the runway at Zuhair Murad, accessorized with elegant, sparkling headbands. Victor Rolf. The focus fell onto fierce eyes at Victor Rolf, with graphic lines of eye shadow and liner. The hair was sleek and simple. Armani Privé. The pink makeup trend was elevated at Armani Privé, with floating shadow on models' eyelids and matching satin lipstick pressed onto pouts. Ellie Saab. The beauty at Ellie Saab looked as expensive as the fashion. Cashmere complexions with polished highlights and lacquered waves made for the epitome of elegance. Antonio Grimaldi Mohawks of hair jewelry adorned the model's heads at Antonio Grimaldi, which further toughened up chic twisted buns. Pamela Rowland Cobalt blue liner defined the eyes at Pamela Rowland, which popped against a nude lip and sleek hair, tied in low, straight ponytails. Alexander Vauthier. More low ponytails and minimal makeup were on display at Alexander Vauthier, cementing the trend for understated, effortless beauty. Chanel. At Chanel, famed hairstylist Sam McKnight created what he coined rockabilly rolls in models' hair, with high ponytails. Makeup artist Tom Pesho created bright smoky eyes with glitter placed below the lash lines. Dior. Makeup artist Peter Phillips used the brand's new Dior Backstage collection to minimally make the models up. To ensure a sheer base, letting freckles show through, he used the face and body foundation, and a touch of the Backstage Glow palette for radiance. Revered backstage stylist, Guido Palau, created these beautifully bound ponytails on the models with long enough hair. Others wore theirs down with a symmetrical shape and perfectly sleek finish. Givenchy. The makeup at Givenchy featured delicate feline flicks of black liner against a sheer, luminous base which celebrated models' natural freckles. The romantic look had a futuristic twist with metallic headdresses accessorizing simple ponytails. Ralph Russo There was a celebration of color at Ralph Russo, where classic red lips made a surprising partnership to pink and purple eye makeup. Hair had a retro feel, with high quiffs and low buns. Schiaparelli. It was a classic case of no makeup makeup at Schiaparelli, which was paired with equally effortless updose. Yet more evidence that low maintenance is back. Sonia Reichel. More minimal makeup and brushed up brows at Sonia Reichel, where models' hair was worn down with undone, natural texture. Giambattista Valley. The look at Giambattista Valley raised some eyebrows. In the ultimate nod to the 90s, influential makeup artist Val Garland gave girls a faux brow cut. Hair was styled in loose yet polished waves by Orlando Pita, lending the look some couture worthy glamour. Ronald Van der Kemp At Ronald Van der Kemp, makeup artist Syl Bruinsma gave models either a nude moment pictured, or bold glamour with red lacquered lips using MAC. A celebration of textures, the hair look was also different for every model, 